Today we explore Poznan, Poland. Besides having one of the best Christmas markets in the country, we have not heard much about this city, so we were unsure of what to expect. On top of that, there is currently construction in Poznan's main square. These updates sound magnificent, but until that is done, as you explore you will see barricades blocking formerly wide open spaces. There is construction interfering with the normal tourist route through the heart of the city. They are undergoing renovations that will make it a space that works for everyone, including those with disabilities. There will be added greenery and the amount of areas to rest and relax will be increased. So with the construction going on, will we find enough to do here? Will this hamper us from finding mouth-watering food? Should you completely avoid Poznan until they are done? Let's find out together. We're starting our day at Ostrów Tumski, where Poland began and we're currently at Brahma Poznania, which is an interactive museum, which is amazing. Lining up to see the goat show at noon at the town hall. We've stopped into Pira Bar, which looks like potato paradise, which means I'm absolutely in heaven. And the first thing we have here is mold beer. That's right, hot beer. And it was 14 zawate. And for the ingredients, it says it has light beer, spicy syrup, orange juice, honey, and cinnamon bait. Patty, how do they know my nickname for you? This one goes out to our favorite judge. And I think you'd really, really like this one because I think it'd be right up your alley. So let's try it out. Oh, mold wine is good. Don't get me wrong, but this is incredible. The spices and the flavor, the fact that it's warm. This is absolutely fantastic. Our friend Monica in the comments recommended that we try potato pancakes with sour cream. So that's what we have right here. And it was 19 zwatte. So I don't know how you're supposed to eat this. Proshin? Uh, fork? Or with the hands? But we use a fork, right? Is the right way to eat it? Okay. We think we use a fork and a knife. So let's take some of the pancake. Let's put it in the sour cream. It's a really nice combination, kind of like the flavor of hash browns, which I really, really love. So cooked really well, but not overcooked or anything like that, and pairs really well with the sour cream. Those potato pancakes were for you, Darren, since you love them so much. But this next dish, this is for us. Here we have a potato casserole, which has lentils, potatoes, obviously, and some other vegetables in it. And it was 26 watt day. Let's try this out. The cheese is melting. Smells really good. I actually can smell the lentils. Mm. If you've ever had a really, really good lentil soup, you would absolutely love this one. And I do love it. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have hatch? 
pins I have there and uh, if you want to buy it, so you Oh, yeah, 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 these are patches. Look, look, look. It's exactly what we wanted. Yes. With the goats. So everywhere we go, we try and get a patch. And while we've been in Poland, we've been trying to get a patch that symbolizes the city. And we got some goats. Black or white? I don't know. The white one looks pretty, pretty clean. Yeah, I like the white one. All right. Let's get the white one. Let's do it. And it has like a little, it's a magnet too if you need it to be. Thought of everything. Yeah. Fifteen's up there, yeah. What is the symbol of goats in Poznan? We have on the clock uh, goats uh, and uh, one time on the day, yeah, this is uh, up 12, uh, go out and uh, 12 times fighting together. They have the goats dressed up in Christmas clothing. Come on. It's hard to take the goat seriously when they're dressed up for Christmas. And that's what, like a crocheted Christmas tree? Yeah, that looks really cool. Like knitted? Yeah. Crochet, yeah, crocheted, right? That's weird. We've been trying to get into a castle and we've just been so busy we haven't been able to get into any of the other castles around Poland but we're finally in a castle the royal castle here in Poznan we're going to the observation deck sixth floor yeah there's even um, a lift if you need it for Wheelchair access. This looks so pretty. The colors look so nice. I really like getting this view from up here because while we do have a drone, it is it is so much better to see something from above with your own eyes. Because when you have the drone, you're just looking at the footage afterwards. And that is cool, but now we can see this and take it in with our own eyes and it's beautiful. So we can go outside. I was like, oh man, the only way to see this is through a glass window. No, yeah, I'm so excited. No, that's not how you say it. How do you actually say it? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's very difficult. Thank you. Oh, one for now, yes. And what's the uh, history of this one? Uh, why is it famous? Uh, I don't know. It's English. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> but this is number one pastry around here? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, 
Ooh, warm. Very nice. Still be zinging. So if you've watched our previous Poland videos, you'll know I try to do my research to properly pronounce the places that we go to and the food that we eat. I cannot say this word. I think, I know this is wrong, but the closest I can get is Rogal Chivieto Markinski. Hopefully that's somewhat close. But we have one of them here, which is one of the prides of Poznan, and really excited about trying it here. Now, the really cool thing is, similar to the Oparjanki that we had in Krakow, you gotta make sure that you go to an official, proper, approved location. So, I don't know if they sell them where there's not a yellow and blue sticker, but we knew when we were going out here today, we had to look for the yellow and blue official sticker. And we have it right here. Lady was super nice, she had him ready to go, and it came a bit warm. Let's try this out. I know it has walnuts and I know it has um, icing on top of it. Very, very tasty. I can see why everyone really likes this one. There's raisins in here too. And pigeons. Uh, well, not in There's the There's not pigeons in here. The pigeons are out, outside of the pastry. Yeah, it's fantastic. We're inside of a mall that has over 200 stores. And in the 19th century, it was a brewery and it's decorated for Christmas, but it doesn't just have normal Christmas lights. It has gift boxes and what looks like an explosion of golden confetti. In Poznan, there were no lack of sights to see. We were able to witness the famous goat show in the Starry Arena. We had a pastry exclusive to the city. And we learned about the rich history in this part of the country. Poznan is not a city you should skip, even during construction. Thank you for watching this video. This is Witty Travels. What could possibly be next?